Hello, in today's video we are going to talk about SPIFs. SPIFs is a file system for ESP32 and we will talk regarding the implementation of this file system in ESP IDF environment. Just for clarity and abbreviation, SPIFs is SPI flash file system which means Serial Peripheral Interface fly, Flash File System uh, So we are working in flash, of e, or in flash memory in ESP32 and creating a file system inside this flash memory in order to save different files in this file system As always, we can start with the uh, official documentation of Espressive where we can see a different APIs and in storage APIs we have a different implementation for memory management one of which is SPIFS file system here it is uh, you can get a general idea of um, how does it work and what it is um, but it's not easy to understand from this explanation how to work with it Inside example, this example, which we have here, this is the official example, he is a little bit lengthy, not so much, and we took this example and as always simplified it and uh, added a few more functionality for this example. Another source is a ESP tutorial which have a pretty good explanation and I uh, suggest you will read it uh, which will explain uh, regarding this subject a little bit more our code is saved in the Sims IoT devices repositories free RTOS ESP IDF SPIFs and here we have two files uh, first of which is the C file and the second uh, and the second one is a, a, a CSV file the CSV file defines the memory structure and the SPIFS file uh, defines the simple code which we will copy and run in our editor we copied this file inside our editor and here we have two files the partition file the partitions csv file and our c file please note that the partition csv file which defines uh, our partition file system is outside the main, main directory it's very important if we put inside it won't work and here we have our project with those two files we can uh, proceed firstly in order to start working with it we have to enter the menu config let's enter menu config and go into the partition table inside partition table uh, you see here the first line partition table please uh, put your csv file to custom partition table because generally it's set up for single factory app uh, no ota so we are using custom partition table uh, csv file in which in this way when we define this functionality it will look for the partition csv file okay uh, having said that uh, we can uh, go to uh, and run the code okay i will just make it a little bit uh, uh, easy to examine this uh, execution okay it's running and after we will see the execution we can go over the code and it will be a little bit uh, easier to see 
Uh, okay. We are connecting and okay. Please note first we have the spiffs system initiation. Then we write and read from the file. For example, we we open file, write to file, read file, and uh, read the inside of the text file which is hello sp world. And the next functionality we will read the directory names. Here in this directory we have two files where we deal dealt with the hello.txt file and then we close the spiff fish system which is, we call unmount this spiff system. How does it implement it in the code? Uh, and here you have an includes we have only one main and this entire code is in one main without uh, functions. Uh, first we, we define the spiffs configuration. We will see that saves we will work in the spiffs subdirectory without uh, mm, no addition labels, five, five files uh, maximum uh, uh, and uh, format if mount failed true. Okay, I didn't really use it, but this is in the official example. Then we register the, sp uh, the, sp the configuration structure here. And we can see how much memory this is using. The partition size here. You see we initiated the spiffs uh, structure and we are using this amount of data. Then we will uh, open file for we will open file for writing here and write a string hello is p world and close this file then uh, indicate this file is written file is written here and then we can open this file and read the following lines which is of course hello sp world the next functionality that we want to show is working with the directory files something like dir or ls in unix and um, here you see uh, we added to the additional file please note the dir different header which enables us to work with the directory which is not included in, in the official example okay we are back here so we open the directory the same directory that we are worked with the spiffs directory a list of files in directory and then we read those files and print it on the screen the last thing we will close and unmount the uh, the, the spiffs configuration which is the end of the program okay guys here we saw the very short and very simple demonstration of usage of the file system on the basis of spiffs inside ESP32 uh, in ESP IDF environment thank you